Looks like our reputation is spreading. Reporting for duty. an ID card. You can get one from a guard in an orange jacket stationed in an area where you can hear Quetzal singing. To get the ID card from the soldier, do a body check. You've got to get inside that lab before the AI gets shipped out. 
Get a move on. You can steal items from soldiers by putting them to sleep or knocking them out and then doing a body check. Get close to the unconscious soldier and press the action button when you see the icon. Or you can sneak up on them from behind and do a hold up. It also works if the soldier's near death. Keep in mind though, if you wait too long, you'll have a dead soldier instead of a dying one. And you can't do a body check if you're holding the Fulton recovery device either. So don't try. I do not know if I recall such large ruins being there. Well, didn't you say there's a lot we don't know about Costa Rica's ancient civilizations? You talked about some giant stone balls, too. What are those? Oh, the stone spheres of Costa Rica? They are an assortment of giant spheres carved from stone that were discovered in the jungles of Costa Rica about 50 years ago. What's so special about that? What if I told you some of them are nearly perfect spheres and that they were carved out of granite, which is quite a hard substance? Hmm. Could be good for laying a trap. And if they're spherical, they roll easily, too. Snake! Snake, be careful when going through areas you've passed through before. The enemy could be waiting to ambush you. And do you know how to identify the soldier with the ID card? Yeah, Cecile told me. He's in a forest with some Quetzals wearing an orange jacket. He'll be from the lab. Probably out on patrol. Do a body check to see if he's got the card. There's supposed to be a Quetzal singing close to where your target is located. Keep your ears open. The enemy's close! <laughs>
Delivery subject confirmed on board helicopter. If you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, give Cecile a call on the radio. She'll remind you. What's going on over there? Once you know which soldier has the ID card, do a body check. To do a body check, first knock the soldier out, or put him to sleep, or hold him up. That works too. Is somebody there? Huh, no. Is somebody there? Huh, no. Somebody there? He's here!
This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. Soldier, when you do your body check. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. I know I saw something. He's here! All clear. Understood. Return to base.
Pick it up. You're carrying too much stuff. You gotta drop something before you pick up a new item. Open the item window. Choose the item you want to drop, then press the A button to drop it. I bet you could use that ID card you found to get into the lab. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter.
Excellent. It's open. joy or pleasure waiting for the one I despise don't move. don't move you men and your guns you all say the same thing I suppose you're here to destroy my research yes I know just as I know what you did ten years ago go on kill me like you killed her Kill me like you killed the boss! Kill me! What exactly do you know? Come on, Snake. Or should I say Big Boss? That filthy title given you as reward for murder. Do you still wear it with pride? You chose a shadowy country over the mentor who made you what you are. You brought despair to good soldiers everywhere. You used the pretext of a mission to kill a true hero! Is that what you call loyalty? Answer me! The boss. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? She betrayed America. She stole the Davy Crockett and then defected to the other side. She used an American nuclear weapon to attack Soviet territory. The only way for Washington to prove its innocence to Moscow was to eliminate the traitor themselves. Boss's death was the only thing that could have prevented all-out nuclear war. Is that what you call the truth? It's the truth as it was told to me. So the truth is that you sullied the reputation of your mentor, the woman you love most in this world, before you buried her? It was my mission. Huh. So that's the conclusion you came to in order to live with yourself. What's the boss to you? I'm the one she abandoned when she left this world. I won't rest until I get answers from the woman I loved. You and I are the same. We are the walking dead. <sighs> Would you like to meet her? The boss is gone. Not so fast. You'd like to meet her, wouldn't you? I can arrange it. You took her life. I gave it back. What? Care for a sniff? It's only snuff. You're a cigar man, aren't you? Well, there's no smoking in there, so if you want to meet her, you'd best partake now. <coughs> Follow me. This is my baby, my morpho butterfly. It's neither pupa nor cocoon, but an amargo. A complete individual, in the fullest sense of the word. Is someone there? Uh, we have a visitor. I'll introduce him. Don't try anything foolish. As long as we're in here, I can induce you to carbon at the press of a button. Who are you? A man. A warfighter. I call it the Mammal Part. Mammal Part? For my participation on the project, I demanded access to all information on the boss. Everything the CIA had. Her personal history, military records, physiological data, correspondence, the files for every operation she took part in, every decision she ever made at every possible turn, what she took and what was taken from her. Her pain and her pleasure, her joy and sorrow, her life and death, and yes, even you. 
Why, why would you do that? Coltman sought an MAD-based AI that would deliver an effective retaliatory strike against the most appropriate target in response to a nuclear attack from a hypothetical adversary. An unmanned device to act as a deterrent capable of making the decisions and taking the actions that human beings cannot. I therefore concluded he required a cool calculating machine programmed to inflict swift, sure, and utter annihilation upon the enemy. No retaliation, but he took it upon himself to come up with a different answer. He said he needed the thought patterns of the very finest rational mind, one that thought on a global scale, took both past and future into consideration, and reached the best decision no matter how painful. And that's why you asked for everything they had on the boss. It was the logical thing to do. I knew of only one person who could be entrusted with the fate of the entire human race. What's your real goal here? To clear her name. Why was a legendary hero forced to betray her country? Why was she targeted for assassination by you, her most beloved disciple? I have no use for fabrications. I want the truth. The boss's last will. You must be dying to know yourself. No. No. She abandoned her country. Abandoned us all. Really? You think you understand her feelings? You're trying to recreate the boss's last will. Is that it? Why don't you ask her? Snake, extinguish that noble soul once again, if you can. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to throw like a soldier? I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to throw like a soldier? There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. 
As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. That's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission death. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. That's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission death. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Jack, you can't come with us. <laughs> 